So I was trying to install Ubuntu Studio on this laptop and I ran into a problem almost right away. Now I wanted to set this up in dual boot configuration. It's got Windows 10 on there. I wanted to preserve the Windows 10, but the Windows 10 had the BitLocker enabled and that caused some problems when I tried to install it on a separate partition. Now I created that separate partition from the Windows Disk Manager, but when I tried to install Ubuntu Studio on that empty partition, I ran into a BitLocker error. I'm using the interactive installation. If you try to install Ubuntu Studio alongside the Windows Boot Manager, this is what happens. You end up with this turn off the boot locker to continue. So I'm going to go back. If you try the next option to erase the disk and install Ubuntu Studio, including LVM and encryption, this is what happens. Again, I get that bit locker error. Now, bear in mind, I don't have bit locker enabled on the actual partition that I created. The bit locker is enabled on my Windows partition, which is completely separate here, but it won't even let you install it. So I'm going to go back again. Now I'm keeping that LVM and encryption selected over here, but I'm going to choose manual installation. And when I go into the partitioning tool, you can see the NVMe is my main one terabyte internal drive. In my case, I've got NVMe partition one, which is a little over hundred megs. And that's the Windows boot manager that's already on there. You can see here that partition three is the BitLocker encrypted C drive. That's what I use as my C drive for Windows. And down here on partition eight, that is the uh, about 262 gigs uh, where I installed Ubuntu. And basically it said free space here previously, but now it's already been installed. But you need to pick your free space partition that you created for Ubuntu. Now, bear in mind yours is going to look a little bit different than mine if you've got an empty partition here. I'm just showing you this in retrospect because I figured it out after I went through the process. So this little plus right here, you hit that and you go and create a new partition in that empty space and just use up the entire space if that's what you want to do. And I'm just doing a single partition as ext4 and it's going to be the mount point is just root. Right? At that point, I just hit next and I went through the rest of the screens to set up my user profile. Once you get through all of those screens and you create your user profile, make sure that on the final confirmation screen, you are using your same Windows Boot Manager partition for the actual uh, UEFI Boot Manager. And then whatever partition it is that you selected, like in my case, it's partition eight that I selected, that that's the install location for the full install. And that's it. Once I hit that and it started installing, everything seemed to work just fine. I did not have to turn off BitLocker. Now on my system, I actually had to go into the BIOS and add Ubuntu Studio in the boot configuration menu as a boot option. I also had to re-enable secure boot because for some reason I could not get it to recognize the uh, USB stick to boot that uh, Ubuntu off the stick with the secure boot enabled. So I had to turn that off and now I'm turning it back on. So now you should still be able to see your Windows boot manager and your uh, Ubuntu studio as well. And when I click on the Windows boot manager, BitLocker comes up. So I'm going to enter my pin. And once I test it to make sure my Windows partition is all good, I'm going to select the Ubuntu studio boot device and test that out. And I should end up with Ubuntu studio loading up.